Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, so today we are looking at Roaring Skies. A video yesterday seems to be going fairly well, the reaction was fairly good, so today we are looking at the top 10 cards in terms of price and value from Roaring Skies, although those of you familiar with this set should probably not be struggling to guess what's going to be number one. In at number 10, Full Art Megalatios, $6, which is not terribly expensive for the 10th most expensive card in the set. This set is very top heavy. Now, Mega Latios is expensive because people like Mega Pokemon. Obviously, the full art being the most expensive version of it, Megas are quite valuable just because people enjoy the mega pokemon they're quite popular now it has seen a little bit of play here or there being able to snipe and ko a shaman being able to use double dragon energy is quite good but it's just being a full art mega that puts it up here in at number nine a reverse hollow card it's trainer's mail now when we looked at primal clash no reverse hollow cards made it trainer's mail is an exception because it's such a good card it is a four of in almost every deck but it's also not been released in any other set if you want to get a reverse holo trainer's mail you've got to get it from roaring skies and unless you want to get the secret rare from Ancient Origins, it's either the regular or the reverse holo. And because it's not been printed in any other sets, it's actually meant that the reverse holo has gained in value and will cost you $6.20. In at number 8, Full Art Mega Gallade, six fifty. It's never been very playable. It's never been a particularly good card. But as I said with Mega Latios... It's a full art Mega EX and they tend to keep a little bit of value. In at number 7 we have the Full Art Rayquaza. Now that's worth around about $8.50. It's Rayquaza, everyone loves Rayquaza and it's a full art. Not all of the full art EXs make it onto the most valuable cards of the set. But Rayquaza... He's a little bit special. Speaking of Rayquaza, in at number 6, Mega Rayquaza, $9. People like these Mega EX cards. People really like the Mega Pokemon. And as I've said, Mega Rayquaza, people like Rayquaza. $9, so only a teensy bit more than the Full Art Rayquaza. But of course, he's a Mega. And let's not forget that Mega Rayquaza has been playable for quite some time, using cards like Skyfield to fill up your bench and hit for pretty much about as much damage as you can do in the Pokemon trading card game. In at number 5, Colorless Mega Rayquaza, $15.00. As I've already said, it's immensely playable due to cards like Skyfield, but what's really strange is it's significantly lower than the Dragon Mega Rayquaza, which we'll get to in a moment. Even though it is significantly more playable than it, this is slightly confusing to me. In at number four, Secret Rare Versus Seeker. Now, kind of like we talked about with Trainer's Mail, Versus Seeker is an incredibly good card. It's also not been reprinted in any other set. So, essentially, you either have the regular art or you go for the secret rare. There's a lot of players that enjoy blinging out their deck and that is why it's got all the way up to 2150. In at number three, the Dragon Mega Rayquaza. It is a phenomenally popular card, despite the fact it's not even a full art. It's just a regular Mega EX. It has for a long time been pretty much the most popular of the EXs in this set, and it's a little bit weird why. All the way up to $23, here's what I'm thinking. People like Rayquaza... It's a dragon card, and printed on the card, it says it can do 300 damage. Now, people tried playing it with Reshiram, but it was never much good. But for collectors who don't play the game, it holds value because it's Rayquaza, because it's dragon, because it says 300. Nowhere near as good as the colorless Mega Rayquaza, yet a fair bit more expensive. Now, the top two shouldn't be terribly surprising. In at number two, $43 huge jump. It is Shaman. 
And in at number one, $55, Full Art Shaman. Shaman is the best card in the format. You need it in pretty much every deck to draw cards and set up. It is no surprise it's the most expensive card in the format let alone in this particular set. So being number one and number two, and by a fair margin, is not terribly surprising. Now this set is really top heavy. It's really from five upwards where the value is. I mean, we saw that Megalatios at number 10 was only $6. Some other ones which didn't get in there, Full Art Wally, 550, but you can just use a standard uncommon, and it's not a card that sees a huge amount of play. Secret Rare Energy Switch comes in at five dollars now kind of like switch energy switch has been in the format forever there's a million different versions you can have of it it doesn't get that expensive full art hydragon 450 it might be a full art but it's not been terribly playable and non-playable exes unless they're a really popular pokemon just don't get high in value similarly full art latios 450 full art thunderous 450 unplayable exes that aren't that popular don't rise in value. Megas do, apparently, but not regular EXs. Now, we want to do a comparison. So, the average of the top 10 here is 1937, although that is helped immensely by Shaman, putting it ahead of Primal Clash, which had an average of 1685. Thank you for all the views and likes and lovely comments about the Primal Clash video. You've told me you want more of these, so as long as people keep watching them, they're going to keep coming. There is a comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. There are buttons to both like this video and subscribe subscribe to this channel it would make me a very happy boy if you would use them both you can follow me on twitter at the wassy and as always the most important thing is to look after yourselves until next time thank you very much for watching my name is ross and you've been watching ptcg radio